Now I just realized that the jigsaw blade is broken. Fuck me. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Welcome back, cosplayers. I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. Now stay tuned. Now before we even start talking about anything, you must be asking yourself, what is Kydex? Let me explain what it is. Kydex is a line of thermoplastic acrylic polyvinyl chloride material. It has a wide variety of applications, including for aircraft bulkheads, firearm holsters, sheaths, and for knives. But in our case, cosplay. Now the reason why Kydex is so good for cosplay is because not only is it durable, but you can also shape it to what you want once the right heat is applied to it. Now the only tool tools that you need in order to cut and mold Kydex is a jigsaw and also a heat gun. Now the reason why you want to use a jigsaw is because of the fact that it's able to maneuver easily. The reason why for a heat gun is because of the fact that you're able to control the heat rather than put it in an oven which a lot of other people would suggest. So heat gun is my way to go and also a jigsaw is my way to go but preferably when you're cutting kydex jigsaw is always a guarantee to use now the first thing you want to do is before you even start cutting into the kydex if you already have a template of your cosplay is go ahead just to put it on here and then trace around it As you can see, I've already done that. But the specific cosplay that I'm doing is a Mandalorian armor, and I've got this template from the Mandalorian forum on the website, and of course, links in the description below. Now, after you're done tracing your templates, the first thing you want to do is first remove the template to the side, and then move the kydex to the side of the table. And the reason for that is to, when you're cutting with the jigsaw, you do not cut the table, which is exactly what I'm about to show you right now. Now as a safety tips when cutting into kydex, always make sure you wear your goggles and your mask so that you can prevent debris from hitting your face and also particles being ingested. Alright guys, right when I was about to actually start cutting, I realized that the blade's broken. The blade is broken, so I don't know where another replacement is, so unless I find the other one, Oh, we might have to end this video short, so... Fuck me! You're killing me, Smalls! Alright guys, day two. I got myself some blades, finally. I know I'm looking like a different, because it's the next day, but... Got them. So let me show you how it's done. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you exactly how to cut. You first want to get to the very edge of the table and put it right right where the line's at. So right before you push the button, you want to push the button and then go right into the kydex. Now just follow the lines, keep your fingers out of the way. I suggest you wearing gloves, but I'm not wearing them because I don't want to get snagged. So here we go. So you got some little fuzzies on the side, just take them off, and there you go. You got one clean cut. Let's go do the other side. Now there you go, this is your clean piece of Kydex. All you could do is just get one of those little sanding papers to sand out the sides real quick to make it even more smoother. But I'm about to show you exactly how to mold this and what we're going to use, like we said previously, is the heat gun. Alright guys, I just want to remind everybody to always make sure you use your gloves when you're using anything with heat. That way you can protect your hands. Now all you got to do is get out your heat gun or if you have an oven, you can also use an oven but make sure you keep watch of that. And not on the dual side. You can, 
but you want to uh, try to prevent sheen from happening. So you go to the more reflective side and just heat up. Just give it time. Don't put too much in one area. Just go all around. You're going to see it's going to slowly bend. Slowly bend. And we're going to kind of shape this. Shape this up a little bit. As you can see, it's somewhat kind of bending already. That's all right. That's exactly what you want to see. I'm going to actually get this top portion first, and then I'm going to do the bottom portion. And start heating up the other side a little bit. That way we can have an even distribution of heat on both sides. As you can see, it's kind of already bending. Just remember to keep moving around. Never want to stay in one place. And you can see how it's already bending. That's exactly what we want to see. All right, it's bending too much now. Now it's time for the forming. As you can see, it's already, ah, there we go. It's exactly what we wanna see. Just kinda of work, it, work it around, get the sides kinda of how you want it. And since we are kinda of shaping this on myself, I'm gonna try to put it where we want it, how we're gonna mold it. Just kind of wrapping it around, trying to make it somewhat even. Kind of bend it just a little bit. I guess there you have it. First cock piece. Move this up the way. That's exactly how that's going to be. So guys, we already got our first piece, and now we're going to get our second piece, and this is how we're going to layer our Kydexes together. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to heat this up, and I'm going to put it on here, and then mold it, and press it down, so that way it could fit the copies behind it. Now it's time to put it where you want it, as you can see. And then from there, push down on all corners. There we go. Have it where you want it. Just push down, push down. Try to get all those corners on there. Try to get all those corners on there. And it cools down pretty quick too. It's a good thing about Kydex. You can heat it, it takes about a good uh, minute. You can form it. And it starts cooling down real quick. That's what I like about Codex. And then you pretty much have it. Completed con piece. Like I said, there's going to be more detail work I'm going to do to this actual individual piece. If you want to see more of this, guys, stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly how I put this together on my piece as you see back there. Just for those guys who are actually specifically cosplaying for a Mandalorian. As you can see, everything that I've used here was all used with Kydex. All used with Kydex, as you see here. This actually was not used as Kydex, this is actually from the Wasted Fat. Like I said earlier in another previous video, thank you for that. But, this is what you could do with it. You can make simple, simple armor pieces. This is also part of that. But, everything else, all from Kydex. All from this material. So, you can turn this into this, in no time. All right guys, that's all the tips and tricks I have for today. I showed you how to work with Kydex, what tools you need to use, and pretty much how to use a heat gun. So, um, this is very basic stuff. Like I said, I'm not a professional. All you need is just a little simple tips and tricks to make anything. So, thank you guys. If you want more tips and tricks, uh, subscribe. Leave, please leave a like, leave a comment down below. If you have anything else you wanna see me do or anything you wanna learn how to do, I'll let you know and I'll show you exactly how I do it. Because like I said, I'm a beginner. I'm sure just like you, you're a beginner too. So anyway, guys, 
this is a new journey for me I'm barely starting up my YouTube channel again uh, please share please like guys anything will help and like I said guys thank you for watching thank you stick with me and until the next one like I said every Wednesday I'm posting up videos and as more of the channel grows I'll start posting more so like I said, this is just my currently my cosplay channel. I am going to be making like an ASMR video, a reactions video, many other stuff, guys, that I have planned. Pretty much things that I like to enjoy myself when I'm viewing YouTube. So anyways, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for sticking with me. I greatly appreciate every single one of you. And like I said, thank you guys. Bye. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, bring it back. Bring it back. I forgot to mention, next week, I'm going to show you exactly how to weather armor and also cosplay guns. So, guys, stick around until the next video of next week. Subscribe if you want to see more. And also, hit the bell so you can get a notification every time I post a video. Alright, guys, like I said, I'm not going to keep you longer. Bye! <laughs>